Hey guys and gals, sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. I know so many of you missed that, so I had to do it. Julio, oh yeah, in simple ways. Julio, go ahead and tell everybody where all the tools are located. Thank you, Julio. Sees it. Bill, it's what he wants, so that's what I'm giving him. Today, I'm going to share with you on the Blue Bomber People love clean glass, and the glass on this is filthy, and it's it's got stains on the outside, water stains. I'm going to try to show them to you, but it's hard to see them. But this method that I have is quick and easy. But I also want to tell you about my brand new little cart here. This thing is awesome. I can't tell you enough how handy this has been. And I have a bunch of other uses that I'm going to share with you throughout this video that this is being used for. So anyhow, I can put all my stuff on this, wheel it around. It's got a handle right here. You can lift it up and it'll fold right up. And a Velcro strap that keeps it folded. You can hang it out of your way. I can't, you're going to see this. You will see this in a lot of different videos that I'm doing. Probably every video because I can do this here. I put my buffers there. Uh, I can wash the vehicle. I can put the soaps on it. Just an amazing little rig lightweight anybody can carry it even your two-year-old carry it so if you want to get somebody something useful for christmas i highly suggest this i found it i contacted the company and said i want to be able to talk about this in one of my videos and that's what's going to happen but i'm going to point it out in every video so you got to get them before they run out that's all i'm telling you and i guarantee you if somebody got me this for christmas i would absolutely love it because look over cracks doesn't matter got wheel locks on it and really good wheels on it so I can lock the wheels to keep it from rolling if you're on a 90 degree slope on your roof you can lock it down it'll stay right there I'm just kidding so today we're talking about the dirty stained horrible glass and can Swalo come up here and see if you can show them the water stains I'm not sure if you can see that folks but it's you can't rub them out they're on there and there's black mold on it if your windshield is not clean, your windshield wipers will wear out sooner and they will not clean the glass properly and they'll jump across the glass. Do this method on all of your glass at least once every two to three years. You'll be glad you did. I'm telling you, trust me, I know. Also, check out Mr. Know It All. We got some really cool stuff going on there and sweet scoots and our, our free samples we're still giving them out so if you want one just comment to us we'll send it to you free of charge so what i did was i dropped the glass just a little bit here because i never like that ridge up here that never gets clean and it's really nasty that that ridge gets on there so i put painters tape on it so i wouldn't hit the rubber because i don't really want to stain the rubber with the polish we're going to use now here's something really funny and this happens to us too look in this bag consuelo you see that down in there this is our favorite this is a mother's jar that hit the ground and busted open and i was in a hurry and i threw it in this bag now i can take all that out of there i'm not gonna monkey with it with the video i can knock all that stuff out of there and i have enough in there right now you can see it all you have to do is add a little bit of water like that and we're going to use the handiest buffing machine that ever was on the face of the earth I'm serious about this as well so all I do is take a little bit of that water and I mix it up down in there so I'm gonna put it on the pad And as you know, Mother's is all we use. Doesn't do real good with rubber. It likes to stain the rubber. So if you can keep it off your rubber items, that would be great. And I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas coming up. And I'll speed it up a little bit.
Now your mother's will not be this wet, okay? Because I added water to this. Because I just don't, I can't get myself to waste it. And again, people love clean glass on their vehicles. They love it. If, if it's all nasty and dirty, it gives them a bad feeling when they go to purchase. This does not scratch the glass. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get some of the water out of it. And if your glass is not really, really bad, one minute of this is fine, one minute of buffing. If it starts to dry up on you, use the really good spray bottles that we share. Put a one mist of water on it, even when you're doing your paint. I'll take a snaggly rag and wipe off this stuff. It's easier to wipe off when it's wet, that's for sure. We're going to switch out our pad. We're going to put the buffing pad on. So I'm building an outdoor temporary uh, greenhouse to protect our plants in case it does get a degree or two below freezing one day or so. But the little cart right there is awesome because I can wheel it to wherever I need to wheel it to without having my tools laying all over. If I'm working over in that corner, I can wheel it over there. If I'm working over in this corner, I can wheel it over there. One minute of this. And this is a new pad, that's why we're getting a lot of hairs off of it. Don't mind that. Now we're going to use our favorite glass cleaner. And the inside of the glass on this vehicle is nasty as well. And again, with these towels, just let them dry out and reuse them again. All right, we'll do the inside real quick, just so you can see what the end results are. Now, if you have any film on the inside of your glass, you can take a little bit of the mother's on a microfiber towel and go over it by hand. That way you don't make a mess everywhere and it'll take the film right off it. Mother's is the most versatile polishing compound we've found anywhere and we don't work for them. We don't get paid for sharing it. And it is so humid here in Pensacola right now. That's why it's not drying up real quick. How far away are we from Christmas, Consuelo? How many days? Um, 15, I think. 15 days, mm -hmm. and it's 70 some degrees here, and the humidity level is right up there. Not a water spot on it. Look how clean that glass is right there. People are going to love that. Oh, and here's another project I'm using the cart for. I'm putting in a new tire changing stand and I have all my tools right here where I need them and I can wheel that thing right out of the way. I don't have to pick them up off the floor. I can put it out of the way so I can get around and they've got everything right there. Totally amazing little cart. It does the job and you can stick it away in a tight spot. And do the back glass. I got my cart right here. I just go to town on it. Keep looking for more episodes. We've got a ton of them coming out. Even on Sweet Scoots, we have a bunch of uh, great episodes on refurbing the Pearl Number no. 2. That's what we call the Road King now. The Blue Bomber, so you know what we're talking about. And then Pearl Number no. 2, and then we've got a really nice maroon street glide that we're doing and adding into the series on Sweet Scoots. Sweet Project Cars, out!